Uh, I gotta give so a shout out to jump in it. Yeah, I gotta give a shout out to uh, Polar Bear for this one. You know, make sure you're following Polar Bear. Uh, put in a ton of work, you know, online, offline. Make sure that this <laughs> game is being properly represented. And uh, here we go. Maybe you can uh, help introduce our players here. We got uh, Cornflakes and Lou. Yep, yep. We got OG Cornflakes, part of the Blodia army. We got Lou playing Lightning, kind of um, a, a lesser played character, but Lou has really sort of pushed the meta with this character. He, he's found some really cool setups. There's like these really nasty unblockables he can do uh, as a, a meaty where he makes you you wake up blocking the missiles and it doesn't it doesn't let you change your guard state for a certain number of frames so you can force you into that and then go low I, um, well this game is fast i'm trying to keep yeah, up that's, <laughs> yeah that's exactly what i was about to say this game is very quick it is very movement oriented this game is like keep in mind this game came out in, in 94 on 420 in 1995. this is like very early on in Capcom's, you know, exploratory era. This predates X-Men vs. Street Fighter and, and Marvel 1. I mean, that's, um, even, that's even the air dash sound from, like, from Morgan, I think, that when she does her uh, air dashing. Like, missile that's, sound? Yeah. That's, like, the same sound effect, I feel like. Yeah, and so this is only a four-button game. You've got light, heavy, boot, and weapon, and boot is effectively an eight-way dash button. Like some characters it'll be a hop, but many, if not most of the characters, it's an eight-way dash, and you can just zip around like crazy. So that's how you're seeing Blodia execute all these like super fast, you know, tri dashes and, and lightning just crossing the screen in an instant. Um, so are the so. are the hitbox players gonna come in and change the meta now? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> hey, room for it. Hitbox <laughs> vice especially is terrifying. The top tier character in this game is a grappler who has a no whiff animation air to air command throw that hits like a third screen or further, does 25% damage, and sets up Oki back into tick throws into itself. <laughs> and there's some crazy like option select setups you can do that are a lot easier on hitbox. Ooh, big hit with lightning. It's the OTG throw. So that's another interesting mechanic in this game. This game has ground teching, where if you mash boost and you get hit, you can avoid all OTGs, but there's some of them where it's such a tight window, or yeah. it can set up such nice OP for them that you want to like roll the dice on not getting hit by the OP, so you stay put. But that opens you up to getting hit by OTGs for extra damage. For those wondering OTG, you know, off the ground, got us uh, James Chen for invented that one. A little bit of lore for you guys. That term on the old game facts days, uh, James Chen coined that term OTG. So we might have seen it there in the corner a second ago. You see Pelodia will do these strings and then he starts flashing for a second. That is a really important piece of tech in this game called that we has been dubbed charge canceling. There's a built in mechanic that's kind of like the old King of Fighters like mechanics where you can charge up your super. Where if you, so if you hold L and H together, your character starts flashing, and you can hold it as long as you want, and you'll start charging up your super. What's interesting about it in this game, that's actually considered a special move. So any normal that you get a special cancel into, you can cancel into that charge cancel, and effectively use it as a free RC on a lot of like long last, you know, long recovery moves, like Blodia's dash H that you're seeing, that big shoulder charge, for example. So would you totally say this, super negative. Would you say then this game has a pretty like steep learning curve? It seems like there's a lot of mechanical or technical, you know, cyber. I was trying to make some it, more puns, but I couldn't. But it seems like there's a lot <laughs> that, that kind of goes into like your your inputs and how you're playing the game. Yeah, right? there's it, it's like none of the inputs themselves are necessarily all that difficult on their own, but there's like a lot of decisions that have to be made in a very short amount of time so it it winds up like the mental stack compounds and it right. can be kind of crazy and heck oh what's the slowdown oh okay that's the round ending yeah it, it does that on like ko it's pretty dope proceed yeah the announcer is so sick now yeah, you see like at the, just then you saw um cornflakes did a standing light and do a sweep and charge cancel that sweep and was able to chase in after and get really good positioning um when you see the, the characters flashing like this for the yeah. first several seconds after you get your super meter filled 
you start flashing like that. We call it lightning skin, and you do 15% or no, 20% extra damage while you have that lightning skin buff. Um, and then, so every character has a super on 236, 236, and, and you can also do a burst, perfect timing, Lou just did one as an OTG, where if you hit L and H together when you have a full super bar, every character does kind of a, a burst looking super that usually has a decent amount of invuln and then massive, like nearly full screen hitbox. Dude, like I, I'm grasping what you're saying, but all I can think is, I just need to see more of this. I know that Yipes ran uh, tournaments uh, recently as well, right? On the CFC. Did you did you win one of them? I felt like I saw your name up there. Um, I I won one of Polar Bear's events that okay. he, he's run not too long ago, but uh, I did not win the, the Yipes event. I think I got third in that one, if I recall. Uh, there's a combination. This is with a the, good matchup. This is sweet. <laughs> what, what's what's this combination with like, you know, the person and the bot? How is that working? Okay, so the bot, like the character that you pick, your pilot, literally all it affects is your single player storyline, like the order in which your single player plays out. Okay. So for versus, it's literally just for aesthetics. You pick the one you think looks the tightest. <laughs> Dude, I'm a gin main, but really, you're just Blodia. Exactly. Ooh. So there he was going for the charge cancel, but the hit, oh, nice combo for the face. Damn. That is like full BMD. So yeah, most of this cast has has limited chain combos. Like uh, most people can do LH or LLH into a special. That that's kind of like the general combo route. Okay. Um, if you're really sick you can start adding in like charge cancels into that like do llh charge cancel lh special stuff of that nature yeah hyper but, uh, combo you're not going to see a ton of it yeah a lot of it's not practical but it is practical for like pressure real light on life Ooh, scary nice respect on the, the dash away good burst nice. hit him at hit lighting at like top of the screen that really shows off like how big those burst hitboxes can be there's a lot of characters with insane hitboxes in this game just massive um i haven't really fully explained the weapon system either so all uh, right yeah get it to like that i mentioned you, yeah you've got light heavy weapon and uh boost and then weapon so like every character has a different weapon attack and it'll have its own little gauge associated to it and it's just like a an additional attack. Lodi has got this little bit that shoots a laser. Um, Lightning has those the like um, par parabolic missiles. Um, like Vice and Forty have homing missiles that are super annoying. Oh, I want those. There's, I want the homing ones. I don't want to yeah, aim. The, <laughs> they're insane. And, and then both of those characters have a, a special version where if you do two, three, six weapon, it does like two sets of the homing missiles, and they'll just chase you down. Nice, Lou takes that one. And you said Lou is playing like the more, kind of like, less common character, right? He's using... Yeah, for like a long time, like, there really weren't any lightning players, and, and there was another dude in the Discord who's kind of playing with it some, and then Lou picked the game up not, not too long ago, and found his, you know, found his way to uh, lightning, and has really been cracking that character wide open. Well, that's like, that's one thing that I, that I find fascinating about the old games is the tier list will pretty much be defined, right? It's like, oh yeah, this is top tier, mid tier, bottom tier, but then there'll be someone in today's generation that goes back to explore those weaker characters and bring them up to a uh, you know competitive level. And uh, yeah, I, like, yeah. I had never seen anybody else using the 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 weapon, the meaty weapon on block and we'll set up that that we were doing. Love to see it. This stuff's really good. Chicken blocking is very good in this game. Um, just up backing out of stuff. And so like that, that charge cancel mechanic is a really big, ooh, nice try dash. The charge cancel mechanic's really big. And then um, there's also a, a sort of hidden guard cancel mechanic that's very obtuse, where you can boost out of the second half of a lot of hit stuff and, and make stuff 
you know, that should be safe, you make it punishable. So you so can like, actually manipulate your movement while you're in the middle of a combo. You can get out of it, kind of. Like while stuff. you're, while you're in, you know, being pressured in block stun. Like oh, for example, stun. um, Tarantula's dashing light is like just a multi-hitting, like five-hitting, uh, kind of sweepy, spinny low. You can boost up and guard cancel out between hits like three and four and punish you. Okay. So there's a lot of kind of like sneaky slipping around out of pressure that, that looks way more airtight than it actually is. Which means you would have to actually learn and, uh, OG Cornflakes, anyone on the board, but you would have to actually learn every character's moves to know the timing of like, you know, which string you're able to escape and punish. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah, it, this, so this game's got... 12 regular characters and then four secret characters that you can pick with like super convoluted codes. There are a lot, there's simplified not, not codes like on Red CFC. Not, not like Red Earth. <laughs> it's, it's probably worse. Like you have to pick your character and then within like a second input the code. And like, w for example, one of them is pick your character, do a 360 one way, input several buttons, do a 360 the other way within oh, like man. a second and a half. That's like picking uh, Akuma or Dan in Alpha 1. Like, yeah. it, it, you have like half a second to input, you know, a whole dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> so the, uh, the, the the easy boss codes in CFC are definitely nice. Oh, a nice dash and burst. Goes for the OTG throw, but it got text, so he just got the option select standing heavy. Nice charge cancel pressure. Really trying to stay in there. He's got a big life lead. Oh, almost got the punish for the dash heavy, but charge cancel to get safe. Cornflakes is really keeping Lou down on this round. Yeah, I mean, we're bringing it back in the set because I think Lou's yeah. up three games to one right now, so. Nice. Ooh. Clock's getting low. Nice. Oh, got yeah. It. Cornflakes uh, had to play safe and let Lou hang himself on that round. Now, what do you think? I mean, uh, should, this, should this game get a sequel? Or should we all just continue playing this Cyberbots? Like, what's been the consensus? Oh, oh, oh. Did you see that? Oh, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> was sick. That all happened in one sentence. That was so <laughs> much damage. I asked um, one question. And he <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I, honestly, I, like, you know, new games are always sick, but there's so much life in this game that yeah. is left unexplored. Like, I... This was such a good game for a first outing from Capcom, like, which... As you probably know, we don't see that often. <laughs> like, most of the games have to get iterated on a couple times before they really right. like come into their too. own. And this game is just freaking sweet. Every, like, even the characters, like I said, that, you know, five or six years ago, we thought were, we've had character players come out and just, like, break them wide open. We thought Cyclone was complete doo-doo. We've got a crazy <laughs> Cyclone player now who found all kinds of, like, nasty tech, unblockable setups. Um, you, know, all, you, you see Lou with, with lightning. Um, I see some of the chatter in chat. Unfortunately, nobody's been able to break open Gates yet. Gates is pretty. He's he's the like Shoto design of the game. He's one of the secret characters, but he uh, is lacking for sure. But just about everyone else, we've seen crazy tech out. Now, are there know, are there any band, are there any banned characters in the arcade version? There is one band character. Warlock is one of the secret characters, and he's okay. pretty much ST of the tier. Okay, fair enough. But you could There's hypothetically. There's been a few videos like where the Japanese <laughs> players had long play sessions, and they, you know, they goof around with him for here and there. But tournament-wise, he's he's pretty much considered to be fan worthy. I was gonna say hypothetically, you can run an event where you know it's all Warlock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's he's got everything. It's, it's kind of insane. Alright, I want to see more games, so I'm rooting for uh, OG Cornflakes out here. I mean, I like Frosted Flakes that was myself, the but... Oh, Oof. man. That's so tough to deal with. You just got to not be there. So he's jumping in and doing that, that uh, the jump weapon. If you block it standing, he gets a free low. Oh. <laughs> With Boom. those life bars gone, where'd it go? <laughs> yeah, and now he's got lightning skin. Okay, Ooh. counter super. Damn, so theatrical. 
Wait, is that it? Did we get the fiber there? 